When we're creating AI agents, a lot of times it's easy to use OpenAI because all we have to do is create an API key, insert that into our code as an environment variable, and we're good to go. And generally, their GPT family of models are pretty good. But this does mean that we are going to have to pay a price for the API and you're stuck using the GPT family of models. And you may not always want to use them. There are so many other AI models out there. So how can we use those other AI models? Well, we can use something called Olama. And what this does is it allows us to download from so many different AI models. And when we download them, they will be used with a local server that we can connect to our AI agents. Now that might have seemed like a lot, but I'm going to teach you exactly how to use it and break it down into easy steps. And all the code that is needed will be in the link in the description. Well, let's get started and see how this works. Well, the first thing we're going to do is in our course directory, let's just copy the main.py function and then paste it inside of our directory. And then let's just rename this main dash olama local AI. Okay, so now we have a copy of the main Python file. This is the very first one that we did. Okay, now there are a couple of different things we need to do here. And the first thing we're going to do is go to olama.ai, it's the website. And I want to show you how to download uh, Olama. Okay, once you're at olama.com, you'll see this big, just well, not big, it's kind of small button, but it's pretty minimal website. So you just click the download button. It'll download the software for you and it should auto run. If not, just go ahead and double click the executable or whatever machine you're on to start up Olama. And for instance, on my Mac, up at the top of the screen, you can see a little Llama symbol. And that means that I have a local Olama server running. Now, the next thing we need to do is uh, download a model using Olama so we can run that with our crew. So what you can do is while you're in the Llama website, you can come up to the top and search for models. I'm going to just go ahead and search for Phi 3, or you can even just click um, the models tab here. So you can, they kind of have like the updated ones or the more popular ones uh, in the front. So you have Llama 3, Quen 2, and Phi 3. Now I'm going to use a smaller model. So I'm going to use Phi 3. So what we're going to do is just click on Phi 3, going to come up to the page with the models, and we have the 3.8 billion parameter version and the 14 billion parameter version. I'm going to use the 3.8 uh, for my machine so it can actually handle this. So what we need to do is actually pull this model onto our system and we download it and then we can use it. So back so back in IntelliJ or whatever IDE you're at, open up your terminal and we're in the we're in the crew AI course. Now you're going to say olama pull and then you're going to go and pull the name of the actual model. So in my case, I'm just going to say Phi 3, or you can specifically um, tell, hey, I want the 3.8 version. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to say Olama pull, and then just paste that here. I'm going to press Enter. And I actually already downloaded it and tested this, but it, this will take a few minutes, and it's downloading all the, everything necessary for this model to run on your local computer. Now, what's happening is this is already running. We already have a server running. And all we need to do now is just give a couple properties to the crew and we're good to go. But first we need to import one more thing and I'll explain why we're going to do this. So we're going to say from lang chain, lang chain underscore open AI, import chat open AI. And this object is going to, we're going to give a couple of parameters to this object and then we'll use that and inject it into our agent and how we're going to do that is we'll say, we'll just create a variable. We'll say LLM is equal to chat open AI. And we're going to pass in two things here. We're going to pass in the model, say model equals, and this is going to be just the model name that we pulled, right? So you're just going to, this is the same model name that we pulled. So you're going to just copy and paste that here as well. And the next thing we need is the base URL. So we can connect to our local server. And in Olama's case, you know, if you're using like LM Studio or some other uh, local server that, that this URL will change. But for Olama, it's HTTP slash slash local host 11434 slash V1. And then next thing we can do is we can get rid of this model name. We don't need that anymore. We still need to have some dummy open AI key here. So we can just type SK project 111. It doesn't matter. You don't actually need a key. We just need to have some placeholder. And then the last thing we need to do is we have an agent, right? So now we need to tell this agent because right now it's going to look at this, try to use the OpenAI key, and we don't even have a model 
an open AI model name anymore. So it's going to fail, right? Even if we had the model name, it's going to fail because it doesn't recognize um, this key here. This is an invalid key. So there is another attribute inside the agent class. So if we add a comma at the end of backstory, you can say LLM equals LLM. Okay. And the, this is the reason why I created a separate object for this particular LLM. And that's because let's say I wanted to copy this. I'll say LLM2, but I wanted to use the 14 billion parameter model this time. So I would go ahead and download the 14 billion, 14 billion parameter model. And now I could have, if I had another agent, I could instead have one agent with the 3.8 billion parameter model and then another one with the 14 billion parameter model. But we're not going to get to that right now. I'm just going to show you how to run this locally. And you know what? Instead of having the blue ringed octopus, let's pick another marine. Let's do the box, the box jellyfish. Let's do that. And the last thing is you could do this a couple of different ways, but I'm just going to show you this way is we need to have the open AI key before the chat open AI model so that it knows to just get our, uh, OS and uh, environment variable, even though it's a dummy key, this will be given to the chat open AI. So it has a placeholder. If not, you'll get an error. So this line just has to be before we instantiate the chat open AI object. And now we are good to go. So we're going to go ahead and run this. And the thing about, it's really nice to have local AI models. The problem is if you don't have the hardware to back it up, and this is why I'm using a 3.8 billion parameter model, and this is still gonna take a little bit of time on my machine, is if you don't have the hardware to really be able to run these things, then it's gonna take a while and it could be a little frustrating, which is why a lot of times when I test things, I just wanna use a 3.5 turbo model because it is so cheap and it's also quick. I don't have to worry you know, if, I, if I you know mess something up, I don't have to wait five minutes or more sometimes, depending on the model, um, to get the response and then change something again. So that just keep that in mind. If you have a good enough computer or if you have a decent computer, I would use a smaller model. If you have a much better computer, um, then, you know, you can use some of the larger models if you want. Okay. So it finished, uh, I think that took, yeah, it took like about two and a half minutes, um, to complete. Uh, but so the same thing here, we have the working agent. We only have one It's the information agent. And I want to tell me all about the box jellyfish. So it gave me a summary and then it gave me seven uh, bullet points, uh, more bullet points about it. And so then we just also printed out the same output and great. So now what we've done is we just used a local AI model paid nothing. I know a lot of people are worried about that. We paid nothing and we still got a good result. Now, of course, the results will depend on these models, right? Not all of the local models that you use, especially if you use the smaller ones, they might not give you the best results, but again, it is free. Okay, great. So from now on, you know how to use Olama to use any local AI model that you want. There are other, uh, there are other pieces of software such as like LM Studio or TextGen Web UI that you can use. I'm not going to cover them because I, I do like Olama. It's simple. It's easy to use and you know that didn't take very long. Now you should be able to use any local AI model with your crew AI agent framework. So for any crew that you make and you don't want to use open AI, now you know how to do that. I just recently opened up a coffee page, which if you want to buy me a coffee, you can do so in the links below. And I now have consulting and I'll have it in the Calendly link if you need help with anything, right? I'm here to teach you and if something doesn't make sense, then I can help it make sense to you. Or if you just need help with ideas or anything AI agent related, all the code that's needed will be in the GitHub link below. Thank you for watching. And here is the video for the full crew AI course that I have created. I'll see you next video.